Hey everybody, welcome back. As always, I'm Skullman012291, and you're watching another episode of The Curse of Monkey Island. So, in the last episode of Monkey Island, we... We, uh, angered a volcano god. Yes. We fed an, a volcano god cheese, and that caused him to blow up. And then we were able to make tar out of cheese and give that tar to haggis. And now we're dead because we mix drugs and alcohol together. And that's why many of your favorite celebrities OD and die because they mix drugs and alcohol together. And yeah, so we're here right now. And the question is in which of these coffins is Guybrush in? Which one? Which one? Well, since I've played this game a long time ago, but I remember most of this. So, he's in this coffin right here. Let's take a look. It sure is dark. Yeah, it sure is. Help! Help! Just help? Nothing else? Help! Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, let's open it. It won't open. I'm trapped. Wow. Who would who would put nails in a coffin if a person is dead inside? Jeez, that's not smart at all. If only there was some way to help us get out. If only we had some sort of item that would help us, you know, with that with enough force. It would just kind of go and bust things open. <sighs> if only we had such a thing. Oh, wait. We do. The mallet, of course. I can't use the mallet with that. Are you sure? I can't use the mallet with that. I, I think a mallet would have been nice. I mean, that you just kind of go and you just kind of swing it up a little bit. Yeah, that would work. But fine, since that doesn't work, we're going to have to use the chisel. And there we go. Somehow, we just got our way out. And so, here we are. Yikes. Where's that telltale pounding coming from? I don't know. It's coming from within one of these coffins. From the dead. The dead that surround me. They must know my horrible secret. Your horrible secret? Never let me rest until I've paid for the wrongs I've committed against. Wait a second. I don't have a horrible secret. My thoughts exactly. So I was like, where the hell were you? A body? Holy, holy crap, that is a body. I didn't even realize that. I mean, I, I did not realize that. That guy was so bloated he burst his coffin. Wow, that's creepy. I don't need a rotten corpse. You sure? Nah. You don't, you won't talk to him either. Bone pile. I don't want to know what happened here. Yeah, you do. Nah. No? Mm, no. No. Okay. Uh, skull pile. I wonder where their bodies are. Ah, uh, I don't know either. But look at all these skulls. They must be. They must be. They must be you guys. Yeah, you know these guys are you. Skullman army. My legions. My followers. That is you guys, Skullman Army. And this is your physical impersonation in this game. A pile of skulls. Let's talk to some of these. Nah. No, you won't. No, okay, fine. Pick them up. Mm, no. No, okay, you won't pick up the Skullman Army. Fine. Let's take, take, let's take a look at these coffins. Lots of coffins in here. Yep, lots and lots. Nah. Nope. And oh mm, no, no, and nothing about that guy. And the exit here is it leads out to the cemetery. Well, yeah, obviously. Uh, can we open? It's locked. It's locked. What about the keyhole? It's a keyhole. Yes, it's a keyhole. Uh, wait, where is it? No, yep, keyhole. And pick up the keyhole. I can't pick it with my fingers. Okay, fine. Can you pick it with a chisel? I mean, sure, the chisel has done wonders for us. 
I can't use the chisel with that. Oh, come on, Guybrush. Now you're just being dumb. Let's take a look back at our coffin. Our dreaded, evil, 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 evil coffin. Ooh, spooky. Very spooky. Very, very spooky. Let's use it. No, thanks. I don't want any more to do with it. Okay, you're lost. Coffin nails. Huh. Now these are high grade nails. As opposed to what? I've never seen it. I haven't seen any other nails before. Can we pick these up? Yeah, we can. Nice. So we just got ourselves a couple of coffin nails. Now these are high grade nails. Let's mix these coffin nails with the tofu mask just because. I don't want to use the coffin nails with that. Aw, oh, you wuss. Alright, so, this pounding is not stopping. It's a skeleton arm, holy crap, I didn't even realize that. Another skeleton arm. Let's pick this one up. I already have a nice skeleton arm, thank you. Yeah, well, it won't hurt to have a partner with it. I can't use the skeleton arm with that. Yeah, you can. You pick it up, you, you, you pick up this skeleton arm with Murray's skeleton arm. Come on. Dude. Smartest idea ever. Alright, fine. Since that's not doing it, let's take a look at this coffin. That knocking is coming from inside this coffin. Really? Go into the light! Yes! Go into the light! Leave us alone! Go into the light! Yeah, okay, since that's clearly not doing anything, let's go just see if we can open this one. I can't open it. You can open it. <sighs> so I guess it's time to use our trusty chisel once again. And he just slowly but surely makes his way all the way around. Pulls up the chisel and uses it like a crowbar. And pries the lid open. And walks back around. And holy crap! Phew, I'm glad to be finally out of that thing. Even though it was a spacious, comfortable model with plenty of leg and headroom. Well, hello there! Say, you look familiar. Uh, yes. Um. Of course, Guybrush Threepwood. You're the one who locked me in there in the first place. What? Well, you see, I've been meaning to. I'm. No, no, I won't hear of it. That was the best time of my life. Gave me plenty of time to think, you know, to think about the things that really matter. Oh. I don't know if you've considered this, son. What? But live burials are not an altogether uncommon experience here in the Caribbean. I wasn't aware of that. Not to mention pirate raids and deadly sea battles, huge man-eating reptiles, dangerous quicksand pits. Oh yeah, Duff, definitely. Trigger happy duelists. Trigger happy and of duelists? Course, those pesky undead. Have you ever thought of what would happen to your loved ones should this gruesome fate befall you? No, but. but... Well, of course you have plenty of time to think about it. Or do you? I think I do. I'm one of the lucky ones. I've been dead. It's given me a whole new perspective on life. A life that I'm going to devote to making sure people's life insurance needs are met. Here, take one of my business cards I've had made up. But how could you have... If you've been locked in that... Exactly! Car, you able to have business cards made. Exactly! Now's not the time to worry about the technicalities, son. Now's the time to ask yourself, are you covered? He, um... Let me set up my office. We're trapped in here. The door's locked. Nonsense! This is one of Stan's cozy crypts, all equipped with a patented secure lock release mechanism. Just jiggle the handle there. So, in case you guys don't know, this guy's name here is Stan. He's been a staple of practically every single Monkey Island game. He's been like a he's been a salesman. He's like I think uh, again I've never really played the first two games, but I think in the first one he sells you a like a pirate ship so that after once you've cleared the first three tasks and you become a quote unquote and then when you become a pirate not quote unquote pirate then uh, when the link gets taken away by LeChuck and stuff you buy a pirate ship from Stan here and then I think in the second game uh, something about the coffin I don't know but. Yeah, something about the coffin, we kind of tricked him into being in the coffin, and I don't know. So, you know, I guess we're free. We we should thank Stan for that. I mean, he found, he 
found the way out for us, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, let's go out. We don't need to stay in here. Ugh, creepy. Alright, let's go back to the hotel. Hi, guys. I guess you'll be wondering how I came to be back from the dead. No? No questions for the dead guy come back to life? Seriously? Nothing? No questions like, is there life after death or is there a heaven? Good questions. Is there adequate parking? Yeah, uh, but, well, I don't know about that. Fine. Be that way. I wouldn't tell you about the hereafter if you begged me. Oh, you hear that? They don't care. Now that's something. Huh. Well then, you know, since you guys don't seem to care, I'm going to talk to you once again. Once more. I'm going to talk to you one more time. Ask for another drink. Right. And I'm going to go kill myself again. Yes. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Is it once more? And then just take another drink and OD and die. Because you people are jerks. And there we go. And we're dead again. Why? I don't know. It's just. It's. This guy's dead again? Yes. Yeah, he's just faking it. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it's the real thing this time. <laughs> That's. Oh, you say so. He's an awfully fragile little fella, isn't he? I'll take care of him. And yet he didn't realize that Stan. Hello. What a surprise you're dropping in like this. Now you see, this is exactly what I was talking about. Perhaps I can interest you in some life insurance? Now, when that gravedigger guy came and dropped us off in here, didn't, did he not notice that Stan, like, completely, like, redecorated this place? Seriously? You know, I don't care, I'm not gonna talk to you right now. Wow, what how the hell did he set up this sign? Mutual of Stan? Mutual of Stan. Wow. Alright, so I'm gonna go back once more. One, once again. Once again. Hey, what an amazing story I have to tell. I was dead, but I live again. Who wants to hear about it? Yeah, who wants? Eh, you guys don't deserve to hear a good story. <sighs> So you know what? I'm going to drown my sorrows once again, and I'm going to drink some more. One more drink. I'd like a drink, please. Right. And every time whenever you quote-unquote kill yourself, they say different things up until you've done it enough times, and then they just, until it's like, meh. So let's do that again, and drink. And let's see. Three, two, one. Right on schedule. Right on cue. This guy's dead again. Yes. I'll take care of him. Yeah. <laughs> We're welcome back to Mutual of Stan. We're just gonna. Perhaps I can interest you in some life insurance. I'll th think about it later. Okay. I'm gonna go shove it in these people's faces that I'm gonna keep killing myself. Hi guys, I've risen from the deepest recesses of the underworld. Yep. And they don't care. Curiosity is overwhelming. <laughs> That's so true. So I think maybe this, I think this is gonna be the last time I'm gonna take a drink. I think. I'd like a drink, please. Here you go, lady. Well, we'll find out. And take another drink, and there we go. And then do that. Three, two, one. Called it. <laughs> this guy's dead again. I'll take care of him. Uh huh. So clearly, you've lost things to say. Welcome back to Mutual of Stan. Yes. Perhaps I can interest you in some black... No, not yet. Wanna hear? It's me again. Was dead. Live now. 
yeah. Once you hear that, then that then they've run out of, or at least Guybrush is like done trying to like try to amuse or impress these people. So he's just like, yeah, it's me again. Was dead, alive now. So now that that's been taken care of, let's just make our way out. Make our way back out. Let's go. Okay. Uh, let's head back to the cemetery and let's talk to Stan. Because he's a jerk. Welcome back to Mutual of Stan. And he's pretty annoying. Executive thingy. And then his desk. And the banker's lamp. And the water cooler. Yeah, let's drink some water. Pirates don't drink purified water. Alright, fine. They don't. Alright, Stan. You got me. I'm interested. You've convinced me. You convinced me. I want to buy some insurance. A wise choice, and one you won't soon regret. The question isn't whether or not you can afford to buy an insurance policy. No. It's whether you can afford not to. I... Speaking of which, can you afford to buy an insurance policy? Well, how much does it cost? Oh, that depends on a variety of factors. How much coverage you need, uh -huh. how much you're willing to spend, all sorts of highly hmm. complicated sliding scale insurance equations and such. Uh. I won't bore you with all that. Just let me ask you this. How much money do you have? Well, well I've got these wooden nickels. Yeah. I see. Maybe I've confused you somewhere along the line. Yes, you have. While nothing would please me more to send you out of here, with the peace of mind that your family will be provided for in the unlikely event of your death, I have to run a business here. You can't accept if wooden nickels? Me some collateral, I can't give you a policy. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's uh doing this part here is kind of fun. You just like show him like every single item that you have, starting with the third one and then the rest. But let's or no, actually no, all of them except the first one. This the first one here is we don't have, but it's still fun to go through. How about an enormous uncursed diamond? How about that? Do you have an enormous uncursed diamond? Okay. No. But I'm like this close to getting one. Well, I'm this close to believing that you're trying to take advantage of my generosity. Well, that's where you're wrong. Serious offer. That's where you're wrong. What about this antique handcrafted bottle of rich, creamy shaving soap? Yeah. The closest, most comfortable shave possible. Mm-hmm. Not interested. No? Okay, fine. This one-of-a-kind Big Whoop refrigerator magnet. Very collectible. Very. Not interested. Come on. Coffin nails. All shapes and sizes. <laughs> Coffin. Hardly ever used. Yes. Surely you're joking. No, I'm not. This fine cane-handled umbrella. Makes a great gift. Yeah. No. No? <sighs> Alright, fine. This attractive mallet and chisel combination set. Use them separately or as a pair. Yeah. No. no. Oh, come on now. Now you're just now. You, now you're just being unreasonable. Doggy treats. They fight tartar while promoting a healthy, shiny coat. <laughs> no. Well, okay, fine. That's that's fine because I don't think anyone in their right mind would want doggy treats, uh, except if you're a dog. An assortment of tarot cards. Practice the mystic art of fortune telling at home or on vacation. Sounds interesting. No. <sighs> fine. This highly accurate map to Blood Island. I absolutely guarantee you. Oh yeah. Just like it. No, you I won't. Think so. All right, fine, fine. You forced me to play my hand. This authentic pirate relic, a genuine tooth from an actual pirate, only one of its kind. Is that real gold? Yes. The finest known to man. Not much spit on it either anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. Now you're starting to speak my language. All right, let's find a coverage plan that suits your needs. And you can rest assured that you've provided for your family well after your unfortunate departure. What are the terms of this plan exactly? Hmm. It's quite simple, son. When you die, whoever holds that policy gets a lot of money. A lot of money? A lot of money. Wow, he is right. Now I want you to be careful out there. 
Okay, I will. Thanks. No, I'm serious. I want you to be very, very careful. Will do. Yeah. I am serious. Alright, so, actually, I didn't even look at the business card before. Let's take a look. Mutual of Stan, because you could die horribly at any moment. It's even laminated. How did he get it laminated? Wow. Okay, whatever, let's take a look at this insurance policy. This entitles the bearer of this document to the sum of... A lot of money. A lot of money. Very nice. Alright, so we're done here in this area for now. We'll now go... Where to? Okay, back to the hotel. Uh, gonna go... Actually, uh, take a stop right here. Let's pick up this empty jar. We're gonna need it. That jar's for my tips. Put it back. But I was gonna put a whole lot of money in it. Too much for me to carry around with me. So I'm gonna have to take it with me and fill it up. Yeah. Oh, okay then. Wow, you're so gullible, sir. You are an idiot. We're gonna go up the stairs here and you know, go through, do a couple of things since we never really did it before. Uh, huh. Ooh, another nail. How interesting. It's a big nail. It looks like a big nail. Since it's sticking out from the wall and all that, I say we should just go and pound it in with a nice mallet. Um, okay, I don't quite, I didn't quite like the sound of that. Not quite. But, um, okay, uh, there's the nail. It's a heavy duty picture hanging nail. Heavy duty, you say? Yoink. Wow, that does look like a big nail. It's a heavy duty picture hanging nail. So we have one, two, three pages of stuff. Cool. Uh, there's a window, a portrait, and another portrait that we just knocked down on the ground. Whatever. Uh, we got a wardrobe. Porcelain carafe. Oh, God, not the porcelain. Get it away from Guybrush. Ugh, it's an old fashioned water carafe. Yeah, let's make you pick it up. More porcelain? When will this nightmare end? What is this man's fear of porcelain about? I don't get it. How is this a bed? It looks like a door. It's a Murphy bed. Oh, oh, a. F a f Oh, a Murphy bed. Okay, yeah, the ones that you pull out from the walls. Okay. One's kind of like... Th ah! There's a dead guy in here. Wow. I'll bet his room charges are pretty hefty by now. Indeed they are. Well, I wouldn't know what to say. You wouldn't know what to say. Let's push him. I can't reach it. Oh, wow, that was weird. Huh. Okay, let's try that again, because there seems to be a book. Yeah, this book right here. The Good Soups. A Life in Pictures by M.M. M. Good Soup. M.M. M. Good Soup. Hmm. Very interesting, but what I think we're going to do, since we can't really do anything, seriously, we can't do anything, with every time whenever we, like, when we walk around, the bed just kind of just pops right back up on the wall. So let's go see if we can like nail it down. I'm not sure if that's strong enough to hold it. I might need one more nail. And one more nail you shall have. Right here. There. The bed has been nailed down. Yep. That ought to do it. So uh, no matter where you walk around, the bed will stay down. And let's take a look at the bed. Just because. Looks comfortable. Does look kind of comfortable. Nah. Uh, can we sleep in it? No, not push skeleton. Pick up bed. Mm, no. Okay, fine. Uh, I guess we can pick up. The, I guess it's best if we gra if we uh, grab the book. We might just need it for wh whoever knows why. It's full of all the dates and fun facts you'd ever want to know about the Good Soup family. 
And it says I'll receive a new book every month or cancel with no obligation. Uh -huh. And keep my copy of Buccaneers and Bouillabaisse Bays as a free gift. Ah, huh. cool. So we have an empty jar and a jar lid. It's the lid to the tip jar from the hotel. Uh huh. And it's empty. It's empty. Of course it is. Well, once we get, you know, once we get lots of money, if we can, I mean, that's the whole purpose of the whole life insurance deal thing. All right, so let's go out and down and. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to end it off here, folks. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, thank you so much for watching. Tune in to the next episode where where you'll find out what I'm going to do, what we're going to do next. Because, you know, I'm going to try and keep this a secret. That's what I want to try to do. Even though it's probably not going to be so much of a secret anymore. Whatever. I'm still going to try. So, either way, guys, um, until next time, this is Skullman012291, signing out. Peace, guys. Take it easy. And save. There. And save. And stop.